Hi, Toucans. I thought we'd video from my kitchen today, okay? Let's get ready for school. We need to sing, okay? Here we go. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. We're so glad you're here. Louder. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. We're so glad you're here. Softer. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. Rise and shine and Welcome to school today, rise and shine, and welcome to school today. We're so glad you're here. What do we do now? Calendar. Let me grab it, okay? Here we go. So we are in the month of, let's say it together, April. Good job. Time to count. I want to hear you, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, a little louder, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, great, keep going, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, good job, today is Monday, April, 20th. Good. What's next? Weather, right? I thought we could look outside together. I don't know. Let's see if I get this there. If you look between my tree branches, what color sky do you see? I see white. What makes a white sky? Look at the tree branches. Now let's see, what are they doing? They're pretty still. So at my house right now, we're having a cloudy day. What's happening at your house? I wonder if it's the same or is it different? Look out the window. Oh, that's great, good job. So I think we need to do our special green fruit out of the tree. Get the lime. Are you ready? Here we go. Way up high in the lime tree, I see a lime looking at me. So I shake that tree as hard as I can. Down comes the lime. Pick it up. Cut it. Take a lick. <laughs> Bitter. Good job. So last time we reviewed our shapes. Let's review our colors, okay? And what I did is I got some spices. And we're gonna look at the colors on the lids, okay? You ready? What color is this one? Red, good job. Okay. What color is this one? Purple. Let's see. What color is this one? Black. Remember we learned when you mix lots of colors together, you make black. Okay. What color is this one? Blue. Now I didn't have a spice color exactly, so we're gonna look at the color on the box. <laughs> what color is right where I'm touching? Orange, good job. Whoa, our special color, what color is this one? Green, good. We have one more. What color is this one? Yellow, good job, Toucan. So we've got all of our colors. All right, I'm gonna slide them to the side. Are you ready? Help me count to three. One, two, three. Okay, now we're talking about ponds. Now are ponds big like the ocean or are they smaller? Smaller. 
Now, are ponds really fast moving, like a really fast moving river, or are they slower? Yeah, they're slower. They have water coming in and then just trickling out. So it's a very calm place. And there's not big waves or anything like that. So it's a good place for animals to have babies, right? So like we know that ducks make their nests on the side and then the ducklings learn to swim. And we know that like dragonflies and different bugs and animals are there and snakes come in and get drinks and different things. Today, we're gonna to talk about our last animal in a pond. Are you ready? Let me grab it. What is this? A frog. Yes, what do frogs say? Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. So we're gonna talk about how frogs go from being babies to being adults. This is what a frog egg looks like. So it's not like the eggs we eat. It's not like chicken eggs that are hard on the outside. Look, these are soft and you can see inside. The black inside is actually the baby frog growing and it grows and grows and grows. And when it gets too big, it hatches out to this. Does this look like a frog? No. It looks more like a fish with the head and the tail. Now, do frogs have tails? Let's look. Does a frog have a tail? Nope. Okay, so this, when a frog is this side, it's called a tadpole or a polywog. Now, when I was your age, I learned tadpole, so we're gonna say tadpole. A tadpole hatches from an egg. Like a fish, it breathes through its gills, so that means it can breathe underwater. What happened? What is it growing? Legs, let's see. The tadpole begins to grow his hind or back legs. Then let's follow the arrow. What did he grow? More legs and look, his head's getting wider and his tail's gonna get smaller. The tadpole grows front legs and the tadpole's gills where he breathes underwater begin to disappear and it starts to breathe air with its lungs. That's like us when we go to the pool and we hold our breath and we go underwater and we swim and then we come up and we take a breath. That's what frogs do. Now the tadpole's getting more like the frog and then look, when the tadpole's tail has completely disappeared, it's a frog and then mommy frogs lay the eggs the eggs hatch into tadpoles. Now, the, do the tadpoles grow their back legs first or their front legs? Their back legs, you're right, and then their front legs, and then they start breathing air like we do, and their tail disappears, and they're a frog. So this is the frog's life cycle. It goes around and around. Pretty cool. I want to talk about another cycle too, and actually you know a lot about it because we studied it when we did weather. It's called the water cycle. I'm going to try to sit down while we do this. Let's see what happens. Okay, hopefully you can see this book, the water cycle. Let's look. So we see the sky, we see the sun. What's this in the sky? cloud. Here's the mountain. What would be the white high up on a mountain? Snow. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you know what's interesting? If you look at this picture, there's still snow high up on the mountain. Is there snow down here? No. It's warmer down lower where we live, right? So there's no snow. Nothing's frozen. Look at this picture. What kind of animal is this? A giraffe. Now, is the giraffe drinking out of a cup? No, look how they drink. And then let's see, what is this picture? What's coming down? Rain. Uh -huh. Oh, what is she drinking? Water. This is a picture of the water cycle. Here's the ocean. Here's a tall mountain. And here are clouds. Let's find out what happens. Are you ready? Okay. Look at the grass. What is this up here in the sky? It's a cloud. 
look how dark it is. So the cloud's made up of teeny tiny drops of, you say it, water, you're right. And when it gets so heavy, the water comes down. What is that? Rain going to the ground. All right, here we go. The rain is water. The water cycle moves water from the clouds to the ground. The puddles you see after the rain are water too. Did you know that? Let's see. Make sure this is nice and bright. Are water too. The water cycle moves water from the puddles back into the clouds. Let's find out how that happens. Oh, look at this. Look at the clouds. The clouds are teeny tiny drops of water. When the clouds are full of water, the water comes down. Now this picture shows us how it can come down. If the air is warm, the water comes down as rain. If the air is cold, the water comes down as snow. Good job. Whoa, look up on top of the mountain. See all the snow? The air at the top of the mountain is very cold. The water falls from the clouds as snow and sometimes it falls as ice. Here we go. Some snow stays some snow and ice stay on top of the mountains, right? The sun melts some of the snow and ice. And as it melts, it comes down as rivers. It comes down the mountains. Look, here's the earth. So we know the blue is water is the oceans, the white are clouds. And the green and brown, that's where we live. That's the land. Some water moves into the rivers and oceans. Water goes down deep into the ground, too. All right, here's the sun. Do you see any clouds? Mm -mm. Right now. Then the sun warms the water in the oceans and in the rivers. And this is when the water goes up to make the clouds, okay? This is interesting, here we go. When the water gets very warm, it changes. The water goes up into the air, but we can't see it. It's in a gas, it's not liquid anymore. So like blow in your hand. You can feel it, but you can't see it, okay? As the water goes up, it gets colder. And then, look, once it gets cold enough, the water, it's called condensing, and it becomes teeny tiny drops of water that we can see as clouds. Mm -hmm. When the clouds are full of water, the water comes down again as, what's this? rain or snow or ice, mm -hmm. the water falls to the ground. Some water goes deep into the ground. Water can stay on the mountains as snow or move into the rivers and oceans. So here, see, some of it stayed. The sun warmed other parts of the snow and it melted and it came down as rivers all the way to the ocean. When the sun warms the water, it will change. Do you remember what happens? The sun warms the water and the water changes to gas and goes up and we don't see it. And as it goes up, it gets colder and colder, and then it becomes teeny tiny drops of water, or it becomes clouds, and we see the clouds. All right, let's go back to this picture. 
So we know at the oceans and the rivers, when the sun warms the water, it changes. It becomes a gas and we can't see it. And it goes up and as it goes up, it gets colder and colder until we can see the teeny tiny drops. What is it? A white cloud. You're right. And the clouds will move and go up and up and up. And when they get so big, the rain or snow comes down. Remember? And some of the rain goes way down into the earth. Some stays as snow, and some melts and becomes the rivers and the streams and the ponds and the ocean. And then the sun warms it, and it goes back up, and it goes around and around and around. That's the water cycle. What did we think? Good book, great book. I think it's a great book myself. I like this one. I think it's time to sing a song. But first, you've been so patient sitting there. Let's do hands up high, hands down low, hide them. Where'd they go? Out comes one, out comes two. Give a little clap. Put them in your lap. All right, I need your help. Let's sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, okay? Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are Good job, Toucans. Guess what? We're about done. Today was our final talk about a pond and frogs and the water cycle. And then we're gonna start talking about farms. And not just animals, but plants too. That's what we're gonna start talking about next, okay? That'll be fun, I think. Well, let's sing our goodbye song. Here we go. Can you sway? Side to side. Skin a marinky dinky do, skin a marinky do. I love you. Skin a marinky dinky do, skin a marinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning, I love you late at night. I love you in the evening when the moon is shining bright. Skin a marinky dinky do, skin a marinky do. I love you. Remember Miss Liz and I miss you. Bye Toucans.